Suppose we wish to compute the determinant of matrix A, which is a three by three determinant by cofactor expansion on row three. We're asked to enter the expansion here and then the value of the determinant here. The cofactor expansion method is also referred to as the expansion by minors method. Looking at matrix A, it would actually be easier to use row two rather than row three because row two has two zeros and row three only has one zero. But because we're told to use row three, we will. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to, notice how the first element in row three is zero. So we'd have zero times the cofactor, which is given here. So the cofactor is going to be negative one raised to the power of I plus J, where I plus J is the sum of the row and column of the element zero here, which is in row three, column one. So we'd have negative one to the power of three plus one times the minor, which is going to be the two by two determinant where the elements are obtained by deleting the row and column of this element here. So we'd eliminate row three and column one. These four elements make up the two by two determinant or the minor. So we have negative one, one, negative two, zero. Of course, because of the zero here, this is all going to equal zero, but we do want to show all of our work. And then we have plus the next element in row three is negative three. So we have plus negative three times negative one. Again, raise the power of I plus J. This element is in row three, column two. So we have negative one raise the power of three plus two times the minor, which is this two by two determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of the element negative three. So we'll eliminate row three, column two. The remaining elements make up this two by two determinant. So we have one, one, zero, zero. And then we have plus the last element in row three is positive one. So we have one times negative one raised to the power of, this element is in row three, column three. So we have negative one raised to the power of three plus three times the minor, which is formed by eliminating the row and column of this element. So we eliminate row three, column three, which gives us one negative one, zero negative two. Let's simplify one more step before entering the expansion here. The determinant of matrix A is equal to, well zero times negative one to the fourth is still zero. So we have zero times the minor. Now here we're going to have plus negative three times negative one to the fifth. Well negative one to the fifth is negative one. So we have negative three times negative one, which is positive three. So we have plus three times the minor. And then here we have one times negative one to the sixth. Negative one to the sixth is positive one. So we have plus one times the minor or two by two determinant. So this is the expansion that will enter in our answer here. So we have zero and then our two by two determinant or the minor plus three, our two by two determinant plus one and then our two by two determinant. And now we'll find the value of the determinant. To evaluate each two by two determinant, we'll find this product minus this product. Of course, this value is going to be zero. Let's go ahead and show the work. We'd have zero times negative one times zero is zero, minus negative two, which is positive two, plus three times, here we'd have zero minus zero, plus one times, here we have negative two minus zero, so we should have negative two. So simplifying, we get a value of negative two for the determinant of matrix A. I hope you found this helpful.